from RFC 31. We're getting ready to wrap up for the night. With me is Sean Nightmare Hollis. Yeah, Sean got a pretty devastating TKO victory tonight against Joe Puncher Johnson. Just talk us through that fight, man. What happened? Um, I just went and implemented my game plan. My coaches told me to relax, you know what I'm saying, and, and just worry about what I was going to do. Don't worry about him. You know, we knew we were both our punchers or whatever. So I just implemented my game plan, stay active, stay moving, stay relaxed, and then when I was time for me to explode, I just exploded, man, and I finished it. I'm, I'm happy I was finished, y'all. Right. Early on in the fight, it definitely looked like the two of you guys were feeling each other out, getting comfortable, kind of fighting each other's range. After you found that range and you went in, man, you went in for the kill. Tell us a little bit about the finish. Um, I noticed that, you know, in the transition, I thought he was going to be a little bit stronger than what he was, and uh, I actually overestimated him as far as his clinch goes. So when I got my hands on him, I kind of turned him into the cage, and he just went down. He just lost his footing. When I see him on the ground, he was, his guard was up. He wasn't defending himself properly. I just started pounding him, man. But Donkey Kong punches, man. It's just bam, 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 bam. It's just out. So. Now, now this is your first fight training full time with Team Dark Side. Tell us a little bit about that transition. Oh, man, man. How, how it's helped you. Man, those guys are awesome in training, man. I'm going to tell you that the biggest thing I think with Team Dark Side is they know how to train each individual based on their game, what they already have. You know, they, they don't try to, they don't try to, you know, they want to add to what you're not take away what you already have. And I'm 39 years old. You know, a lot of people don't know that. And as an older fighter, you got to train smarter. You know what I'm saying? Hard, but also smart. You got to be able to recover as well, too. So they allow me to train hard, smart, but allow me to recover. I think a lot of my other fights, I was overtraining. Right. So, you know, with these guys, it's, it's, been, it's been a little bit different. Now, they put you on the spot there in the cage uh, with the Ronnie Phillips call out, but you and, fought, you and Ronnie obviously fought one time. Uh, what are your thoughts on <laughs> that potentially happening again down the road? Man, I, I got a lot of respect for Ronnie Please Phillips, man. He's a great guy. He actually uh, came up to me before the fight and was like, you know, because he lost to this guy. And he came right. to me and was like, man, he said, do your thing. I know you're going to win. You know, things like that. He gave me some different corners or whatever, you know. You know I wasn't going to alter my game plan regardless, though, but... I would want to fight him again. Um, he's a great fighter. He's a great up-and-coming fighter. He's young. He's talented. And I think right, he's only going to get better, too. Um, that fight is in the books. You know what I'm saying? For me, he did beat me. That's my only loss. But I would love to fight him again. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it, it's good for the sport. It's good for Tampa, Florida. You know what I'm saying? Because we're two formidable 205ers in the RFC. Yeah. Definitely. So um, I think it'll make a great fight again, man. You know? All right, hey, well, what, we, might, we might have a trilogy. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Now, before I let you go, I know you got a great team of sponsors. Tell me a little bit about them sponsors. I have a great sponsor by the name of uh, Tough Man. It's a sports injury related product brand. Um, look out for those guys in the market. They're going to get really, really big here soon. It's a sports injury related product. So if you got scars, it's for anybody from MMA fighters to skiers to to boxers, any athlete who gets scraped up and scarred, Olympic athletes, you need some Tough Man. Trust me, if you don't use them, I'm punching your mouth. Anyway, also, uh, Berta Gonzalez, man, here in Tampa, Florida, one of the best attorneys here in Tampa, man. Well, everyone, um, please NFE, Natural Fury Energy, is one of my biggest sponsors also, man. They keep me very, very healthy, very strong, as you can see. Very nice. Yeah, you see that. Yeah, get, get, a, get a shot of that. You know, those are knockouts. <laughs> um, and that's about it, man. You know what I'm saying? All right, man. That's John Nightmare Hollis, and I'm MMA Matthew. It's always good to see you, too, man.